Alright, so Star Trek is working good. I'm going to do some different settings. I'm going to change it to th from 3 ball to 4 ball and a few other things, which I like. Change the volume back to normal. Looks really good. I wiped the glass down. All the lights are working. I have to say thank you very much, Lukash. Especially the ramp. The ramps to be repaired. Boy, they work so much better now. Actually, the game is way more playable. Look at that. That's cool. Okay. Uh, especially changing that U channel underneath, that's very nice. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty damn cool. I got a different lock, though. I got only one key, so let's don't lose that. So we better hide it, mark it. I don't know about hide it, but, yeah, put it somewhere where nobody can lose it. Okay, let's look at the bag of parts that I found inside, see what they did, yeah. Okay, and my supervisor. Look at that guy. Bag of parts. Let's see. Okay, we're gonna open that up. Let's see if we can do this one handed. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to. There we go. Yeah, got some more light. Look at that. That was part of that U channel underneath. That was totally gone. And then they replaced. Looks like they replaced the whole channel because it was total. I'll go to a previous video that was done before I sent it back for repair. And uh, you will see this bit that I pointed out. It's on the uh, underside of the playing field. Oh, nice. I'm so glad they got that because that was going to be a failure soon. All right, a lot of, uh, I'm not sure what bits here. Oh, the old lock. Mm-hmm. Okay. Not really sure what all these bits are, but we'll s That's interesting. Uh, that's probably from the lock, maybe. I don't know. Okay. That is so cool. All right. Lots of light bulbs. That's the only thing. These flippers have lots of bulbs. So I keep wandering off from the screen here. All right, one of the flipper bits, or bumper rubber gummy bits. Okay, not sure what that one was too, but yeah, it's so much better. It's not. Game is working great. Game is working great. Thank Lucas. Thank you very much, Lucas. Uh, say big thanks to your guys. And much better this time. Alright, let's look at this. I got something to show you. <laughs> we had to get another beer. Nice check one. Now look at this. <laughs> look at that, man. See, are we a Star Trek fan or what? <laughs> Hold on. Okay, look at that. <laughs> this actually a one a few years ago. Well, it's been many years ago. At the, there was a Star Trek experience in the Las Vegas Hilton, and I won this. Or actually, I won uh, a bunch of cash playing blackjack or something. And I went on a spending spree. And anyway, yeah, I got more. Star Trek memorabilia, but yeah, we'll get all this stuff up before our Star Trek pinball room. Oh, there's one more I gotta show you. Hold on. Look at that. Star Trek clock. Let's see what that's like. Gotta clean it up. So I'm not gonna put it on top of the shirt there. But yeah, got this also in Las Vegas. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, we got that. Get this all put back together and mount it up. And uh, I don't know if that's even still existing anymore in Las Vegas, is it? Anybody know? Anyway, comments, questions, suggestions. Star Trek Next Generation is working. Back in... Look at that. Oh, it's cool. Okay, we're going to give it a good play. 
I'm going to change some settings like I said before. I'm going to add a set of three ball, make it a four ball, and kind of check a few other bits and uh, in the menu settings and change the volume back to where we like it. And Star Trek.